Remember? 1.9. 1.9. You're so much better. Everything was better. 1.9. Here is the 1.9. If you don't remember, you did not have a childhood. You were not a child. You retroactively did not exist. Remember? The nine circles trend. It was a good level. You're too young to remember. It was a good level. We had Lenny face. You don't. Things were better then. Now all is lost, including hope, which is dead. So you will often hear about the golden age of Geometry Dash, which was a period in GD history where everything was perfect and nothing bad ever happened. We also refer to this period as the 1.9 era. Apparently the community was so much better in 1.9 that people got nostalgic for it and made a private server for it. So why exactly do people insist that the 1.9 era was so much better than the current state of things? Well there's two aspects to consider when we compare the game from 1.9 to its current status. The game itself and the community. I think we can all agree that 2.0 marked a turning point in this game when it comes to level design in custom levels. It's whether or not these changes were ultimately for the better or not that's up for debate. Personally, I think the game itself now is much better than it was in 1.9. But I can see why people would have objections. Some aspects of the game were better back in 1.9 and were sacrificed for better visuals. For example, let's take moving objects, which were the defining feature for 2.0. Moving objects can be used to make all kinds of visual effects that were previously impossible. They add a new dynamic to Geometry Dash levels which can make them a lot more engaging. However, oftentimes moving objects are also used to spice up the gameplay of a level. But more often than not this just results in annoying or buggy gameplay. Same thing with the Alpha Trigger. The Alpha Trigger also allows for interesting visual effects. But this trigger is notorious for being misused all the time. Even the best creators can't help themselves sometimes when they make portals or jump pads completely invisible for no reason. Anyway, I do think the good outweighs the bad in the end, especially considering 2.0 added a lot more features that didn't have any real downsides, like being able to use infinite color channels for example. So that's the game itself, but the big point people always rabble on about is the community. People are always ranting and raving about how the community sucks nowadays and how it was so much better in 1.9. But what exactly do they mean by that? Well for one, the community was a lot more open and welcoming back then. It was a lot less commercial and it felt more genuine. People came together and created levels and YouTube videos with a love and appreciation for the game and not in a desperate attempt to gain a scrap of relevancy. Nowadays, the biggest YouTubers in the community just mass produce repetitive clickbaity content for the idiot masses. And while that is true, I don't think the people who are genuine ever went away. They are still around if you look for them. And even though most of the OGs may have left the game at this point, there's plenty of newcomers to replace them. Besides, to counteract all the new shitty Geometry Dash related content, there's also a lot more good content now. Back in 1.9, all we really had was every play replays and some shitty countdowns that were literally just stolen content with some numbers slapped on them. I don't think the community right now is as bad as people are making it out to be. You always hear complaints about the never ending drama nowadays and that that's another reason 1.9 was so much better. But I think the people who say that are overlooking some crucial things. 1.9 also saw a lot of stupid fucking drama. Like this moment, for example. Get wrecked, sir! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. Surf completely exploded after this comment by Quasar and was completely fucking retarded. Not only that, but there were hacking scandals going on non stop around this time as well. Andromeda, Nubus, Neptune, Cyclic, and the list continues. Basically, drama has always been a part of this community and it will always continue to be until the day it dies. Now, I think there is one aspect of 1.9 that was actually a lot better than the current state of the game. And that is the standards creators were held to. Now you may or may not have heard about the sweet dude effect. Basically the sweet dude effect states that once you have acquired a certain amount of notoriety inside the community your levels will be accepted much more easily and have a higher chance of getting featured even if they are not that good. Now, the sweet dude effect has always been an issue in the game, but I think the problem has gradually gotten worse and worse over time. Right now, the standards for new creators are so high that it's extremely difficult to get noticed for your levels, if you don't already have some kind of reputation. 
I don't think that's a problem really, but what is a problem is that these standards don't seem to apply to everyone. Take CrazyMan50's recent preview of XO. At first I thought he was just showing off some gameplay, but more and more people kept telling me that this is the final decoration. Part of me still doesn't want to believe it, but if that is the case, then there's really no excuse for the totally unwarranted praise people shower him with in the comments. This is not a revolutionary concept for one. Dear Nostalgist exists. And this is really not that impressive on its own either. The block designs are very basic and we've seen this kind of decoration since the game was released. The level has a couple of pulses that has people jizzing their pants, but I honestly don't see the big deal. It's not very impressive or unique to add some pulses to your level to the beat of the song. Honestly, I bet if it were anybody else, people would not shower this level with this much praise at all. If it were anybody else, people would just chastise the creator for copying their nostalgists. And I really can't stand that double standard. By the way, I know I'm going to get stupid comments about this, so let me just say this now. Crazy is free to create whatever he likes and he can pretty much do whatever he pleases. I'm not saying that he can't. I'm just saying that people should stop revering everything he does as some kind of holy message from the angels or whatever, because that's just retarded. Anyway, that's the sweet dude effect for you. It wasn't nearly as bad in 1.9 as it is now. The double standards nowadays are honestly ridiculous. Again, this is not me complaining about high standards, because that's really not the issue, but the standards don't seem to apply to everyone, which is the problem. So that's my take on the supposed golden age of Geometry Dash. Personally, I don't think 1.9 was nearly as good as people make it out to be. Because they are blinded by nostalgia, I think people tend to exaggerate how bad the game and its community is in its current state. And also tend to forget the negative sides of the 1.9 era as well. And it is pretty annoying to constantly hear people complain about it. Instead of complaining, how about you do your part in trying to make things better? Put it on it, 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 put it on it